Hello everybody, this is Minty Jo and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I am an American that lives in, in Italy and on this channel we talk about lot care, self-care, um, we talk about emotional and spiritual care and we also talk about, I've uh, been talking about lately, um, doing some vlogging, um, the tour that, I, that I'm doing with um, a gospel group and also Andre Raul and I'm going to be doing that and also getting given some footage and keeping up with my videos with my lots. So anyway, today, the reason why I'm here is to talk to you about how challenging it can be to have locks and maybe even to be a loose natural, but I am locked, so I'm gonna be specifically spe um, focusing on locks. How to keep your hair um, in good condition as you are traveling and so I started this video and I did leave some tips and I really would like you to give a comment please you know definitely subscribe and give some also some more tips on what we can do if we are traveling and we need to protect our hair we are going into the winter months now and that is so, so important. So I'm going to let you enjoy a little bit of the video and then I'm going to come back and close everything out. And again, if this is your first time visiting, please go ahead and if you like the content, subscribe, leave a comment and tell us what you do when you are traveling and if what my ideas are if you are enjoying that as well. All right, let's get into it. We're going to go right into what I was talking about earlier on the things that we need to do to protect our hair. Now, like I said, this is a time of the year where people are doing a lot of traveling and also for, you know, work, music, family, whatever it is that you're doing. So I want to give you a tip that was given to me by my cousins. I have two cousins that are locked. They have beautiful locks all the way down to the middle of their back and beyond. And one of the things that, especially my cousin that lives in Boston, always talked about was protecting your hair and covering your hair, especially in those moments where it's not necessarily necessary for it to be out. So while I've been traveling, because I've been to Portugal, I've been to Slovakia, I've been to Budapest, and one of the things I did notice is that my hair needed a lot of protection against the elements because I was in one country that was completely different from another. And so this is the way that um, that I decided to do it. So I use um, different types of moisturizer, but this is this is rose water, and I also used um, some of my sealant oils, and we've talked about that too. You know, sealant oils are usually avocado oil, also um, olive oil, um, argan oil. Okay, I use those, and I make sure I put that in my scalp, and then of course. Um, excuse me, that's penetrating oils. And then after I use my sealant oils, which usually consist of um, castor oil and jojoba oil. So I do that. And then at the end, what I do is I'm just going to demonstrate it for you right now is what I do is I put my hair back and I want to show you what I did. So I don't like to always put elastic bands on my hair because I don't think it's a good idea. It causes sometimes a lot of a lot of stress on the hair. So what I basically do is just I get my fingers and I just kind of tuck the hair underneath itself. So I'm going to try to rotate so you can see that, okay? All right, I just get my thumbs and I just kind of push it up just to kind of give it, you know, to protect a way to protect my ends. Now, some people may use um bobby pins to do that. I just choose at this moment not to do that because again, I'm trying not to put unnecessary stress. The second thing that I do is I make sure that I get some type of scarf that is going to help keep the moisture in my hair. And what I use is usually a satin scarf. You can also use a silk scarf if that will help you as well. And you, of course, can decide on what color it is. You decide. And I would recommend, ladies, you know, sometimes you can get these this material from some of your fabric stores. And if you don't want to just constantly be buying online, you can try something different. Okay, so what I basically do, and again, this is usually when I am traveling. 
I go ahead and I tie my hair down, okay? I use the scarf and I go ahead and I put the scarf in the middle of my hair and then I kind of tie it down like so, okay? So that it kind of wraps the hair. Now, some people may just be fine with this, but for me, this is not gonna stay as well as I would like it to. And when I do it in the back, let me turn so you can see, I tuck it underneath. And then what I finally do, okay, I kind of pull it forward a little bit and you can put some bobby pins there if you choose to. The last thing that I do is I use this cotton stretch scarf. I got this at my beauty supply store actually many years ago. I've had this for quite some time. I usually bend it, bend up the front of it to give it a nice tapered look. And what I like about this scarf is that it stays in place. Okay, so what I do, sometimes I do it different ways and I'll just show you one way that I do it. Sometimes I just wrap the ends like so and I put it maybe like this, okay? And I just tuck it like that, okay? And I also tuck the back. Now, sometimes I may have a little bit of the other scarf on it too, and for me, that doesn't bother me at all. Now, you may be different, maybe it will, and if you want to make sure that it's secure, you just get your bobby pins and you go ahead and put those in place too. Where you want to, you can put them on the side near the ears, or you can go ahead if you go ahead and put it on the back. I usually do it either here or in the back. Okay, so I'm going to turn around just like this, okay? And this is what I do. When I'm traveling, this is how I have my hair. Because it's I'm on the plane, if I want to put a hat on this, I can. It protects my hair, it keeps the moisture in my hair. And then when I get to my destination, wherever that is, I will go ahead and style my hair the way I want it. If I know that the, the concert is usually the day after, of course I do the fancy styles, etc. But this is how I maintain the moisture in my hair. And let me tell you, it's so easy when you have to travel. So this is a tip that I use. You may have another tip, but please let us know because this is the time that we have to protect our hair. It's vital, it's very important whether you're a loose natural or if you're locked, and especially if you're locked. It's very, very important, okay? Love to hear some advice from you as well. This is Minty Joe. Thank you so much for passing by. Also, if you wanna become a part of the family, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment, because sharing is caring, and also become a part of the family. I look forward to hearing from you, hearing your tips. Thank you for coming by. Arrivederci, and stay tuned for more vlogging on the tour that I'm on, involved in. I'm so excited to share that with you. Take care, arrivederci.